All right. all right, so today is day six, and it's all about the breaking of generational curses. Yes, uh, check over here, checking out my um, <laughs> concoction I just put on my head, trying something different with my locks. But anyways, today is all about breaking of generational curses, and the reason why I decided to make day six the breaking of generational curses a part of the heartbreak remedy devotional ebook was because generational curses is something that runs so deep and i know we've all heard the saying that this river runs deep and deep indeed it is the breaking of generational curses is something that is actually instilled within our bloodline on a spiritual level from either our mother father ancestors that has been carried on through each generation to where it can be a trait, a habit, a mindset. And it's funny because yesterday or on day five, we talked about the breaking of strongholds, which are those strong um, thoughts and patterns which affect the way that we step into our God selves and into the freedom and authority that God has and has given us in our journey in life. And so it's very similar, the breaking of generational curses, except for the fact that I believe that the breaking of generational curses has more so to deal with action. So strongholds, mindsets, thoughts um, that aren't working for us, that aren't working in our favor, generational curses generally are discovered in action. And um, a lot of those, you can see that in dysfunctional patterns that we've had, whether it be drug abuse, it could be addiction, it could be um, um, lying, it could be cheating, it could be um, stealing. I mean, there's so many different things. It could be in fighting anger. There's so many different things that generational curses um, show up. And so it is something that is necessary to address. A lot of the areas that we struggle in when it comes to our healing are areas of needed discovery when it comes to generational curses. And so the best way to figure out what these areas are, are to tap into, um, you know, whatever relationships you have with your family. And if they aren't available, then what you can really do is just take a good look at your life's pattern and you can take a look at some areas of needed improvement because if you have areas of struggle concerning any of the things that I have mentioned earlier, then there's a great chance that those are a generational curse. Um, a lot of generational curses come in the form of abuse and abuse is a very widespread thing. It can be verbal abuse, there's mental abuse, there's sexual abuse, there's so many different versions of abuse that it is one that is very deep. However, when we can discover what kind of abuse we've suffered or what kind of curse um, we've uncovered, then it can better help you to address it by creating a plan and a strategy in scripture, in um, the support circles that are around you, whatever support circles, people, places, things, um, to combat that curse that you've identified firsthand. Also, you can um, identify and implement different strategies by planning. And I always talk about journaling in every single video, but if you journal, it allows you to be able to see your thought patterns, your mindsets, see reoccurring themes, because if your memory is not too good or if life is moving really fast, sometimes you don't remember things unless you're logging them and journaling them. It could be as simple as getting into a fight with someone, a verbal fight about somebody, and you maybe keeping a log, you know, this day, this, you know, um, got into an argument with so-and-so, and then this day, this time, this place, you know, this happened, and so on and so on. So they can kind of look back at a log of incidents so we can identify, once again, a running and reoccurring theme that's not serving you so that you can better identify the area of needed healing and improvement in your life so that you can overcome it with the tools and the power and authority that God is giving you, once again, through scripture, through supportive networks, places, um, and uh, 
and things like programs that are in place within your local community. Okay, now I know the last video, I actually feel bad because I didn't do the affirmations. Um, if you have any experience with any kind of generational curses, go ahead and share them below. I always feel like, you know, once again, a lot of the people that watch the videos, you know, I'm a part of a community and I provide a community, which is a safe place. Write down any generational curses that you've experienced that you feel comfortable with sharing below. It's always good to know that you're not the, you're not alone in your journey. And that's a part of the Renew with Renee community, which you can join on Facebook. Um, and just share your story, just be encouraged, and also just feel supported in wherever you are. We'll always give you resources and different outlets that you can join that once again get you moved forward and healed, um, recovered, rebuilt, and rejuvenated. All right, so a few affirmations that are my favorite that I like to tell myself on a daily basis are I am healed, I am recovered, I am restored, every generational curse set out against me is broken, I am an overcomer over every single generational curse that is within my being. Every generational curse that has been set out against me is broken. And I am victorious over every generational curse that has been set against me. I know I said some of those a little bit differently and it's saying the same thing, but to reaffirm those things from within and just to continue to have a meditation of just saying it over and over and over again is a really, really good thing to do. Definitely meditate on these things. See yourself free from the generational curse um, so that you can reestablish what healthy looks like. I know a very famous generational curse is the dysfunction of the family and maybe fighting. It's very, very famous, especially in my family. But um, they're all areas of improvement. As long as we journey in this life, we're pressing towards the high mark. So it's okay to just be real and authentic with your story. Nobody is perfect in this lifetime, but we're all striving to... to um, live the fullest and the most purposeful life that can better serve ourselves, which in turn serves others. I hope that this video definitely was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and click the like button. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and write them below. I'm always reading the comments. Um, share this video with family and friends as always. And, and follow me on social media if you're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, go ahead and follow RX with Renee. I thank you guys for watching on day six, the breaking of generational curses. You got this. You can do this. You're going to do it. And I'm super excited for you for watching today. Um, stay tuned for one more day, day seven. Y'all be blessed.